husband went out with friends for some private beer breakfast. So it's just us. Just came down to take care of Benny. So this morning, he was just laying there. His pain medicine should have eased up a lot by now, so I was expecting him to be able to walk around, and sure enough, he's more like his old self instead of zombie medicine dog. Um, I didn't get a really clear view of his wound because he was just sitting really funny. Oh, he's gonna poo, so I won't show you. He was sitting, laying funny, and wouldn't straighten his legs for me to like stretch out the groin area and really see it. Well done. Why don't you hang out for a few minutes? So I stood him up and he was able to stand up on his own after I lifted him up. And just took a peek. The area wasn't too bloody. Like the area around it, I gave everything a clean and his ace bandage had soaked through in all three spots that had passed over everything. But the pad and the cotton mostly had like a clearish fluid, kind of like when you're scabbing. And a little bit of blood. It looked more like blood on the ace bandage, but I think it, maybe it's just because it's pink. I don't know. So I washed that. I changed his dressing and I had one more like vet wrap sticky kind of thing that I just put on that. Hopefully using a lot more of it will keep it on there better, but this one tends to roll up and off of the pads. So I might need to go to the drugstore again today. I think I might get some Neosporin too. Um, but yeah, I don't know if all the clear fluid is good or bad. I've pretty much been told to expect infection soon. The only other thing I have to say is really he's night and day personality wise. When he's on the pain medicine, he's a zombie. He looks like he's at death's door. He can barely move. When the medicine wears off, he's his old self. Yes, he looks like he's in pain because of the way he's walking, but he's happy and moving and wanting to do things. And he asked to go out the side yard and he ran right down, so. I don't know what to do. We just went and got guideway and went back you. Okay, be careful. So we just finished getting some more bandage materials for Benny and then we stopped at the dog store. And I'm gonna try out some doggy diapers to see if disposable diapers will help his bandage stay on there, maybe more comfortably and easier to do. I don't know. We're gonna go home and give it a try. Okay, so here is the doggy diaper intended for girls. I guess for girls and in heats or who have pee pee problems. But the boys' ones are just a band across the junk. And that's gonna do no good because it's back a couple inches away. So I'm guessing it, this wound is about here. So I think with the non-stick pad there, it might help. Um, we just got home from running these errands. I was getting, I got another one of these just cause the washable one is wet right now. And a few more of these pads cause I'm almost done boxing. Got some new spawn. Yeah, the boys put up with me doing all this stuff, so... Yeah, and I'm I got white what? He chose a fire truck. That's so cool. Yeah. He is pretty firmly in his medicine, so he's not standing up yet. I just took his cone off. Leave it alone or you're getting your cone. Do you want to get up? Come lay with us in the other room? I mean, he's more alert than he was on the medicine yesterday, so that's good. I hear that he could start to adjust to it and not be so zombie-like. But he's definitely, I mean, he's exhausted. He'd normally get up and say hi to us. All right, can we have a doggy diaper on? I just walked him Mama, with some... you open for Okay, hold on. I just took him out with no bandage on, get some fresh air. 
cleaned it off and put a little Neosporin on his pad and then well, got the I diaper on. It it's off. like, okay, if you can do it, you can try. So the diaper's really like as wide as it can go and still hold on securely. It's just his bone structure. He's very skinny, but the fluff and the bone structure, we'll see how it holds. It really did seem like it was covering up the pad well, but I didn't get a good view before he really needed to sit down. So, and of course he sat on the wrong <laughs> direction. Let's get, let's see if I can see. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it's covering it. How gay. This tape. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll get it in a sec. I'm just taking a look at Benny. I mean, it's over there. So it's, I think it's really covering well. They were expensive at the dog store. It only comes with 12, but I believe they're about a dollar a diaper, so I ordered on Amazon. It's just, it was gonna take a couple days, so I wanted to try this right away. Look, I have bubble and I'm cutting it. You are cutting it. you've had a great Saturday. I just wanted to update you a little bit on Benny. So he's about the same. Wound wise, it's not bleeding as much. It's still really red and I mean, it looks like it should have gobs of blood coming out of it, but it's actually just a little bit and some fluid. It does soak through things, but it's not red blood. So I don't know if that's good or bad, but I'm keeping it clean. So I'm just doing the best I can. I am keeping it covered most of the time, even though I'm told the vet did not cover it when he was sent home. So I tried giving him a little bit of time with it uncovered, but he also had no cone on because he was sitting beside us and he kept just like sneaking licks. So I just bandaged it up for the night with just an ace bandage around his belly, holding the pads and stuff on. Today, I did get the diapers as you saw. Um, I got the largest ones they had, but I really think I need like an even larger size because even though these go around him, when his hips move, they do pop open and they're a little short for where the wound is. So a couple times the padding just fell right out of the top of the diaper. Um, I'm gonna keep trying them during the day when I'm around him because I can just tuck a new pad right in there and it was really convenient. But well, I yeah, I need to way. do the bandage. I oh, no, I can't do that, it's on the bed. I'll put it up. Thanks. Yeah, I can't, I have to do the bandage at night. We I have that awake. There you go. Thank you. Got it? Um, he still struggles to walk when he's on the pain medicine. It just makes him so weak and wobbly. But it seems a slight bit better than yesterday. He's still happy at times. Other times he's just tired. So I don't know, we're hanging in. Um, besides that, I mean, we didn't really do much. I, my husband was out in the morning, so I took the boys out woo, for breakfast. And we 
ran dog errands and just chilled at home. I took care of Benny. Oh my gosh, child. You were just needing something every two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to wrap this up. It was a day. The day is done. We'll see you tomorrow. We love you all. Thank you so much for all your kind thoughts. I'm doing good today. I think I'm going to do okay for now until things change. See you tomorrow. Thank you.